feasibility study was completed and it seemed like a good idea. So the next step was to develop a proposal, how you were going to do this if you said you were going to do it. And uh, we got the help of a very good writer who later became a television producer or writer or both, Linda Gottlieb. Linda helped write the proposal with Joan providing the background and the proposal had to contain a lot more than what was in the feasibility study. Feasibility study only looked at, you know, the education, the psychology, how in the television, how they might go together. Proposal has to, how are you going to do it, practically speaking? How many people is it going to take? What kind of a budget will it have to have? What kind of an organization will it have to have? All that had to go in the proposal. So Joan had to work further on that. And uh, when we asked Joan to come to Carnegie for full time. And she spent half her time at Carnegie originally uh, helping to develop the proposal and half her time working on another project we were funding, the National Citizens Committee for Broadcasting. And in developing the proposal, she was able again to draw on her television contacts and some very good friends to help on what kind of an organization, how should it work. The Public Broadcasting Laboratory had been uh, developed and tried before then, and it hadn't worked very well. What exactly was it? Public Broadcasting Laboratory was designed to produce innovative shows within the public broadcasting um, system. And among other things, it had a board which had uh, strong content influence over what in, went into the shows. As I remember it, the, that creates a problem between the producers and the writers who think that they're developing the show and the board which thinks that it has a responsibility for the show. So Public Broadcasting Laboratory, at least for that reason as well as others, did not work well. That was a very important lesson to what Joan put into the proposal. And that was helped a lot by a friend named Stuart Sutcherman, who was then at the Ford Foundation, had been involved with the Public Broadcasting Laboratory, and recommended that is not a organizational form that you should use. So what went into the proposal was the idea that there would be a project director who would have responsibility for a project. Under the project director, there would be executive producers, line producers, writers, people that you need to make television work uh, and that there would be a board but it wouldn't have the content authority that the public broadcasting board did. So all that went into the proposal along with the budget.